One of the questions that I often get while I'm coaching couples that have um, endured or experienced uh, infidelity and a fair broken trust is, Mr. J, once she starts going off or once he starts going off, he just doesn't stop. Um, when he goes to ask me a question, it, 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 the rants and rants and rants, or when she, you know, gets an answer from me, all she does is rant. And I, I just, all of a sudden I get triggered, I get defensive, I get annoyed. So I wanted to show you a couple quick techniques on how to, um, interrupt someone where it's going to be as low impact as possible. Any interruption is going to trigger somebody and upset somebody, but there are a few things you can say and do. Number one. When somebody is going on and on and on and on, you can say, may I add a different perspective to that? Or may I add something to what you just said? Or I'd like to also add to that, if you don't mind, sometimes just raising your finger. Um, raising your finger and saying, if you don't mind, I just want to give you a different perspective. Um, I don't mean to interrupt you. I just have one thing I wanted to add to what you just said. So there's a few things that you can do that I'm not saying is going to absolutely have uh, the other party say, oh, yes, what is it? <laughs> but it's um, those techniques are much better than rolling your eyes, saying you're wrong, screaming over the other person. So just try a few of those techniques when you're in the midst of hearing your partner get carried away emotionally on a long rant.